to Stalking Trend right here on Oxford TV with me in Kiruka eBay. And you know how we do it? We always give you a lowdown of everything that's been happening. And trust me, a whole lot has been happening. And guess what? Big Brother is back again with season six. But today, let's start with the case of Baba Yudesha and Princess. You know how that has been going. So on Tuesday, they were in court. Baba Ijesha on Tuesday, they alleged that the 14-year-old daughter of actress and comedian Damilola Adekoya, alias Princess, was harassed by two other men, and these men are her security guard and one of her neighbors. I mean, the, the story goes on and on and on, and so it's not coming out that it is not even only Baba Ijesha that had any uh, probably molestation case against the girl. That there's some other people, two other people. It just goes to show that I mean, a whole lot is happening, and there's so much they're not telling us about this particular case. So let me take some of the comments. You know, someone says, "Poor child, she's the real victim in all of this mess." Another one says, why is everyone harassing this daughter of yours? Are you sure you are not using her to make money? Something doesn't add up. Another one says, be very careful who you leave around your kids. Prevention is better than cure. I will never take that chance leaving my daughter with any male relatives of such at all. I am sorry. And that is true. We neglect our children. And the point is, most mothers, what they do is they keep training their female child to be a princess and then they forget to train the male child to also treat this princess as a princess. Remember, I ain't got no opinions on anything. I'm just saying what you guys said corroborating with what you guys said. So another story I have here, it's about um, the education summit, global education summit being held in UK. Um, it's being hosted by the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, which our president, President Muhammad Dubari, has to be there, you know. He has to be in UK. And this actually is a virtual meeting because some other government heads are joining this meeting virtually. But then again, it is not even only our president that is going because we don't even know the reason why he has to be there present in the United Kingdom to attend this meeting, which you can actually attend from anywhere in the world virtually. So, not only our president, the president of Malawi, eh, Lazarus Chakwara, is said to have traveled to the same summit to attend the virtual meeting, according to him, because the connection in his country is not working. Oh God, guy! He's the one here, you are in Africa. I don't understand. Ah, <laughs> Africa? Ah, ooh! <laughs> Can you imagine a president coming out to say that the reason why he had to be there in physically is because his country's internet connection is not working? <laughs> but come to think of it, you know, it's true. Because he wouldn't want to, you know, any, he will start meeting and then the two now start doing shh, shh. He will not hear the information that they are passing, so he has to be there present. But don't forget that our president also went. What are you trying to say? So are you also saying that our own internet connection in Nigeria is not working? So let me take some of the comments. Someone says, Nigeria safe better pass this one. I better pass I better pass my neighbor. <laughs> Another one says what African leaders cannot do does not exist. <laughs> Another one says, what happened to fixing the connection problems in his country? What sort of leaders do we even have? You know it's true. If it's not working, what does it take to fix internet connection? The money you're using to travel to the United Kingdom. Can't you use it to fix the connection in your country? <laughs> so let's go to another story. This one is about the Central Bank of Nigeria. They have stopped selling forex to brew the change people, you know? If you ask me, I don't understand what is going on. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Before we move further, um, I told you we have a guest in the house today, so we're going to be talking about something very interesting. Yes. But we'll bring her in just shortly after this timeout. Just stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you. 
So y'all are welcome back once again. And I told you I have a guest in the house today and she is none other than Ozioma Iwara, the baker, I mean, AKA the celebrity baker. And she came bearing gifts. I mean, ah, can your guest ever? Oh my God, when I, never, whenever I invite them, they bring salt tea, you know, they bring salt tea. <laughs> Look at this. I've been meaning to, you know, yeah. if you say make cake and then the person now goes and makes it in a tub, right? This yes. is a tub. Um, someone came up with cake in a jar. Mm. Why can't I come up with cake, cake in tubs? A so I just, I went to Google straight, what do you call cake in a plastic? And I saw tubs and mm. that was how cake tubs came up, you know. I thought, okay, it's not just nice putting cake and just cream. Why don't I add fillings, you know, mm -hmm. add something to make. I want the crunch, I want it to feel the moistness, I want the salt to hit you, I want the sweetness to hit you. And it was fire. Yes, <laughs> I mean, it's a cake quite all right, but it's always different. There's always that difference you put into it. So let's even talk about cost of, you know, making all of these things oh, wow. because you make a whole lot of cakes like almost every day. So tell us how, how has that been it's for you? Been, it's, it's not been easy, especially since after COVID. Everything started since after COVID, you this know. Is after COVID? <laughs> it, it, it got worse because, of course, importers cannot import as much as they used yes. to. Then there was no milk. People had to start um, improvising. Improvising milk? Uh, there's a baking term for it, because you understand what I mean. It's still milk, okay. but there's a kind of milk that we use, the mm. UHT. Yeah, but because it was not available, we had to find a way to formulate the powdered one. So that wow. one, for those that didn't have access to milk, luckily I was still able to get. Mm -hmm. But you won't blame them. It's not available. What do we do? We have to keep giving the quality that is expected of us. Nothing less but the right quality. So today is cakes pots and you know some wine <laughs> let me do the honors <laughs> enjoy mm. it's hitting the right note damn <laughs> guys you need to try this not your cameraman <laughs> i'm talking to the people at home mm -mm. it's amazing i'm glad you enjoy it every <laughs> mm. bit of it so I want to take it down a little bit now. Okay. Your mother and you bake. Yes. <laughs> and you bake all by yourself. All by myself. How are you dealing with that? Because I know your son Brian is, uh, <laughs> is all over the place. How are you dealing with all of that? How are you uh, handling it? It all boils down to having a supportive partner. I would always say this as a business person, especially one who is looking to go deep into entrepreneurship, a skillful one at that, it is very important to be on to have a man that is on the same page with you, with you yeah. because really sometimes of course i bake from home i work from home sometimes my house is like a bakery <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like a bakery and ordinarily some people will not be able to deal with it yeah. but because i have a supportive partner who understands that okay she has to do she's passionate about this and yeah. i'm supportive so it's like an easy sale for me like super easy so do you watch big brother for fun or oh <laughs> <laughs> we are all there for the hype. <laughs> you don't switch. I don't have to like, switch. Like, eh. <laughs> so this new season, who is your favorite housemate? Uh, Any favorite housemate so far? Right now, no. But my first attraction was Maria. Oh, like, she looks like a Disney princess. So I just yeah, got. Yeah, I mean, just carved up from a book. Like they just bought her with her yellow it. dress ah. and it was popping. Like oh ah, my god, ah, this lady has to be from Disney. <laughs> As in, like all those so, princesses that you know. Yeah, for shall. now, she was my first. I was attracted to mm -hmm. her first. because she made a good appearance. You yeah, know? she did. She did. They always say um, first appearance leaves a lasting impression. Impression. Yes. Yeah. Right. So she made that appearance, she came up and then everybody was like, other people were coming and me, I really don't watch what I watched that particular, I was like, whoa, Who is she? <laughs> very well dressed and then pretty, pretty, I didn't even, she did pierce her ears, the makeup no was in, oh, no that, tattoo, no. you know, no tattoo, <laughs> no piercing, but she's just cool. No, let's not shake those actually. I'm not shaking. <laughs> no, 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 don't get you wrong. I'm not shaking anybody, trust me. No, I don't. Because truly, I feel like you could actually still have tattoos and do your piercing and still look really good. Okay. You know, um, it is when you begin to, well, it's, 
if you, you know if you want to go all out tattooing your body and mm -hmm. piercing everywhere it's your, it's your it's choice, choice right but it's just for you to know that there's an impression that you give out when yeah. you appear that way yes because that way, they yes. said dress as you want to be addressed. Addressed, yes. You get. So yes. it's as if people flung that to the wind. Nobody even cares anymore. Everybody's and just about it's my body, it's my we life. We are in a woke area. We are in a woke era. So it's like whatever you know, works for you. What, <laughs> what are we even teaching? Because in our generation now, we're supposed to leave lasting examples for those people coming after us, right? The up. Okay, just imagine your child now. What would you want your child to see in the future? I think that's where parenting actually comes mm -hmm. in because even in the midst of all, like I went to a school where smoking and drug, you know, it was, people did drugs like mm -hmm. life. I had, you know, it was there, but not once did I ever do drugs, not once did I ever smoke. And I tell people not once while in school did I ever club, mm -hmm. not like I didn't, I didn't have friends that would want to tag me along but it's just whenever they bring up this idea like let's club i'm like what if my daddy sees me mind you i was calling in another country yeah but because of what that thing that has been imbibed in discipline, really discipline do you understand yeah. so i feel like parenting really needs to be really strong now mm -hmm. this is when parents, i mean this is the time you know this thing there's something that has been coming to my head for the past few days like take care of your children so that they can also take care of you in old yes, age. Yes, yes. Because if you don't take care of your children now, no. God help us. You won't us. have anybody to take care of you in old age. God days. help us because the era is so woke. So, but, I, but then I still believe that even despite how crazy it is right now, but there, there are still people that are decent, well-mannered, well-cultured, you know, you see them and they're like, okay, this is yes, something but, to look but, up but, to. But then again, when we look at it from this other angle of social media, okay. because we see a whole lot of information on social media, a great deal of information on social media. Some of the young girls we see on social media, especially those ones that call themselves influencers, and I keep asking, what are they even influencing? Because what they're trying to tell us is, you have to, all you have to do is, as a girl, be pretty first of all, mm -hmm. and they have a big bum, and you have a full chest. Then you're out there. You know, Basically, that's what they actually put out there on social media. And then they now tell you not to um, uh, don't judge me, don't body shame me, and all of that is what you show us that we see. Exactly, exactly, actually, exactly. And the way you dress is how people will address mm -hmm. you. A lot of things that we, we, we have seen cases of people who go ahead to do their bonds, but enlargement and boob enlargement, and at the end of the day, they are going back to reduce it again. Yeah. Because they won't tell you what they go through. That's one thing they don't I, tell. I, us I tell on people media. that on social on social media, they show you what they want you to see. Mm -hmm. It's just, and that's why it's it's totally wrong to to be depressed over what you yeah, see on social media. Yeah, base your life on social media. Totally yeah. wrong because yeah. there's a lot. Like we are here now. Nobody knows what's going on behind the scene. Yeah, it is just how it is on social media. Mm -hmm. You see those that come and they act up like they are doing the press ups and the sit ups for five minutes. <laughs> How many seconds is real? Really, it's 30 seconds. They enjoy it for 30 seconds, and after 30 seconds, man, they continue their life. And <laughs> it is just what it is. It is really just what yeah. it is. So, I mean, you're, you've, you've started, at, I mean, we went to school together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we went to school together. So, right, way back in school, you said baking. I remember some birthday cakes you baked back yes. in school. And then you came back out of school, you did the banking job, you went back to your baking again. Consistency. Do you understand? How do you advise the younger girls? Because there's so many of them, or let me not say so many of them, let's say so many of us who are lost. Okay. We don't even know what our bearing is. We have this dream so big in our head, but we don't know how to actualize it. How do you talk to someone, a girl like that? Okay, the first thing, that I always tell people who are trying to find themselves is whatever you do, don't get confused. Okay. Avoid confusion. Like I've always been someone that I try as much as possible to decide on what I want. You know, I, a lot of, I've had the passion for baking since when I was in primary school. Mm. Though, you know, I didn't really get the support I needed from my dad. Of course, he was the one paying my fees. Then I wanted to, you know, I went to school because he wanted me to study economics. I did economics. I came out. I wanted to focus on baking. Back in school, what was I even baking? I had just a pot and a stove and 
I didn't even have a measuring cup or measuring spoon. And funny enough, I still have people tell me that, oh, they remember the cake I made way back and they enjoyed yeah. it. I'm like, have you tried my cakes now? No. <laughs> so, even though as much as I wanted to satisfy my dad, went to school, studied the course he wanted me to do, I was still consistent mm. on this. I knew this is what I want. This is what brings me happiness. This is what I'm passionate about. There's something about being passionate about what you do. When you're passionate about what you do, you enjoy it. Yeah, true. You put in your best mm -hmm. and it is very obvious. And it is so seamless. People will see it, but when, when you are doing it grudgingly, like you are going to work, you are annoyed, you get to work, someone is annoying you, you can never put in your best. Yeah. You won't even find yourself, you won't be happy. Even if you are earning so much, there will be no fulfillment. Yeah. So I will just say, first of all, decide on what you want to do, irrespective of the opinions of people yeah. around you. Avoid confusion. Mm. You may not hit it immediately, but just put it at the back of your mind that, this is what I love doing. And stop looking at social media. <laughs> eh? <laughs> all those things that I tell you. All those things that I tell you that ah, you need a big boss, you need a big boss. Um, mm -mm. That ain't true. <laughs> Just so you know, it ain't true. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Welcome. It's a yeah. pleasure. Cause yes, of course, with the wine, great wine. With the wine. So, cheers to the weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So thank you for coming and you can follow her on social media. Let's have your social media handle. Okay, Instagram, Moses Delight. O W Z I E S D E L I G H C. Moses Delight. Moses on Twitter, Delight. same name, Adoses Delight. Are you still on Twitter? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, follow her on all social media. I'm to what she will say. It's your opinion. I'm just <laughs> I don't know. You're boring my words now. I'm using it against me. All right. So, Oz is delight on Instagram. Follow her. I mean, this cake is delicious. You need to try it. If you haven't tried it before, you got to try it. I'm sure Joseph is salivating wherever he is now. Okay, <laughs> ah, I can't wait for this show to end so that I'll come and eat cake. Eh, you eat cake, shower, but then... Follow us on all social media platforms as well, Oxford TV. And we promise we'll follow you back. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also follow me on Instagram, Kiroka underscore eBay. And I promise you, I will follow you back. Until we come your way again next week, that's all we have for you this week. Bye-bye. And it's the weekend. <laughs>